I showed you that in your own Quran, Allah does not discredit neither the Torah nor the Gospel. I don't want to take the thing. Okay, wait. No, what's, which what's, language what's, language bro, what's the Bro, have some mannerisms, bro. What are the codexes? What do you mean? Let me repeat this again. Wait, I'll give you another opportunity to redeem yourself. Is God's word created or uncreated? Created. No, it's not. Is God created or uncreated? No, God is uncreated. Right. Because God is not He's cause. He's a creator. He's self-cause. He caused everything into existence. Yes. He has no beginning, no end. No. He's eternal. He's perfect. He wasn't created. So therefore, his word is also uncreated, right? Because it's part of him. When God speaks into existence, he creates stuff through his word, right? Does it, doesn't he? I know a lot because I'm an ex-Muslim, and this man also is an ex-Muslim. Yes. It, is it okay? Let's not get into these dichotomies and all of these statements of. Let's not get into the personal stuff. Let's stick to one topic at a time. So I asked you if Allah was uncreated, and you said yes. Out of your own word, you said that Allah has no beginning, no end. Exactly what the Bible says: there were no other god formed before Him. Neither is there any god after Him. He's uncreated, therefore his word is uncreated. Well, guess what? Once again, the Quran says that Jesus is the word of Allah. He is called Kalimatullah al hai and that's in, in Surah 4, verse 171. And so... Is he the only one? Is he the only one? That's the word of God. He's the only one that is the, is the word of God. Can you find me somewhere in the Quran for your hadith, someone else, any other prophet, per se, that is also labeled as... Uh, the word of God. If you find me anywhere in your in your Quran, from cover to cover, any other prophet, for each, that matter. Each prophet is the word of Allah. Each no. Was given show me. To have a show mission. me in your Quran. Show, show me that in your Quran. Would you please? I challenge anyone here to show me where from where in the Quran does it ever say that every single prophet that Allah ever sent is actually the word of God? There's not a single place, not a single citation. But, but, it, says, what, what but it says in the Quran that all the prophets are equal and the same. Well, you cannot, you cannot prefer what? Jesus. Okay, one person at a time, you know what? So he's telling you that all the prophets are equal, that Jesus is yeah. one prophet among many others, exactly. all right? Exactly. My issue with that is that Jesus never claimed that he was just a prophet. And in fact, Jesus came way before the Quran came. And so to look into the Bible, what we see is clear claims from Jesus that said that he's not just a prophet sent by Allah for his people, right? Because you guys say that he's sent by Allah for his people. But Jesus goes as far as saying that he is also the son of God, that he is also the son of man, which will die, raise again after three days, and also come back in the clouds of heaven in the last days. And so we have a clear understanding of that in the Bible. It's all over the Bible. Every Christian knows that. Why did he raise again? Jesus rose again for our sins because without the shedding of blood and without the resurrection we cannot come into the newness of life exactly. Jesus had to die so we would confess him as our personal Lord okay, and Savior and then I'll come into new life right with Jesus Christ who died on the cross you. can you give me a second I just want to you know I just want to give her an opportunity to say whatever she wants to say he died and came back why do you have a problem with him? Not because it's not the same. Because it's not the same prophet. Okay, would you agree that if Allah lies a little bit, then he is no longer God? Okay. So why is it that Allah is willing to lie on the nature of Jesus and not preserve His word explicitly? You know, from when Jesus was on earth, according to Christians. And until the time that Muhammad comes with his message that, you know, Jesus is just a prophet. What happened in, in that 700 year span? What happened, you know, to the people that were deceived apparently because allegedly Jesus never died on the cross. He was made to be seen by others as an illusion. He was replaced. He was substituted. And then people believed in him uh, as far as actually giving their lives away for him dying in the hands of the Romans and the Greeks. The worst uh, forms of death being tortured for 700 years. Was Allah not able to preserve his people? Was Allah not able to not deceive people? Why did he deceive those that were standing there on the 
okay. of the cross. Okay, I, I would ask right? you. I would doesn't, ask, it, doesn't it make sense? I would ask you a sense, a sensual question. You answer this one. Sure. If 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 if, if I am God and Jesus is for my son. Will I make him uh, go on the cross? Would God the Father give his only begotten son on the cross? Would he, out of love, you know, do that for humanity? Why would a no. father ever do that, no. right? No. I mean, why would a father sacrifice his son? Yeah. And it's a legit question. I think it's a legitimate question, right? So, here's the answer. God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten he son on the cross for whosoever believes in him. Okay, so how do you define sonship in that case? Because I think that there's a misunderstanding here, by the way, guys. All right, sonship, you guys should know, let me, let me just, and I'm gonna, listen, I'll address your question in a minute. Sonship, you guys, as Arabic-speaking people, should know about what sonship means more than anybody else. Sonship simply means someone that comes forth from someone. When you say Ibn al-Maghrib or Ibn al-Jazair, what does it mean? Someone that was allegedly actually born there and comes out from a certain specific city or a country, for example. So when we say Yasu'a ibn Allah, we say that his word, God's word, his mind and everything else, right, was, was made flesh for us to be able to relate to God the Father because we couldn't see him because he's invisible. And so what we mean to say is that the word that was part of him actually materialized and came to us in a bodily form. And the fullness of God's glory was embedded in that physical person, which is Jesus Christ. So we believe that God came and lived in Jesus Why not so we can Muhammad? relate to him. Why not in Muhammad? Because Muhammad was never ever prophesied in the Old Testament. Nowhere was he, not, not the Old Testament, not the New Testament. After, came after where does it say that in the Bible? Can you please show me somewhere where it says that? He's a Nabi. Yes. He is a prophet. Okay. But we never said that Jesus is a prophet. Why? Because Jesus is the incarnation of Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. So <laughs> that's the difference. You say you don't believe that he is the incarnation of God. But we believe that he is the Messiah. Who is Messiah? He is the incarnation of God. He is the only one, according to your Quran, he is the only one who is born from from the Holy Spirit. No one else is born from the Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, that's true. Huh? You yeah, know that. How did Adam was born? One, no, no, one, no, one person at a time. Just one person at a time. One person at a time, if you don't mind. In, uh, in, just wait for your turn, brother. Way. Adam was born, just took some, is, some sand and said, just born. All right, so one person at a time. All right, let's just go back to. So this made a lot of sense, all right. But let me ask you this: with the same, with your same line of thought, then let me ask you: why don't you believe in Buddha, for example? Why don't you believe in Tao? Why don't you believe in any other religion? There's forty thousand religions out there. We don't believe in statues. Well, good. So nor do we. Do we? And so we, that's why we don't worship. A Kaaba, we don't worship a cube, we don't go around and around around a cube in the desert. We don't worship right? And we believe that if there's idolatry in a religion, then we must stay away from it. But better yet, as the man explained to you, we believe that Jesus is a son of God. We believe that he is God incarnate. We don't just believe that Jesus is a prophet. Now you, on the other hand, claim that Islam is true, that Muhammad is a prophet. For us, Muhammad was never even mentioned anywhere in the Old or New Testament. Of course, he came after. No, he wasn't. Well, he came after. So Islam cannot even be backed up then in that case. No, Islam is the last word of God. Is it? Yes, it's like... So it's the last word of God, but yet no one can back, back it up? It's like I'm the United States. Come on. I make my Messiah. Come but on. I updated where? In Israel. Brother, can, you can't can, back it up. Can you speak French? I'm a... I speak better I want, in French. I, like, I, bet I speak better in English. Yeah. But I speak better in French, you know? Okay, but can you say it in French and I'll each answer? Each prophet has a mission. Say it in French and I'll say it in English. I'll respond in English. Okay. Oh, chaque yes. prophète a une mission yes. et chaque prophète est une, une parole de Dieu. Mm. Mais comment tu es sûr que c'est Jésus, la réincarnation de Dieu, que c'est le Holy Spirit, c'est le seul... Qu'est-ce qui te fait te passer okay. sur ça? So there's just so many proofs. I can't even begin to tell you about the proofs. There's my own life. We're empirical proofs, at least, you know, those that have uh, made Jesus their Lord and Savior, that Jesus is real, that Jesus speaks to us. But on top of that, there's also historical facts. There's the histor historicity of Jesus, right? Jesus truly died on the cross, not just because the Bible says so, it's because we have contemporary writings that date back to... 
Well, no, we said that. We said according, I was actually, no, I was objecting to your objection that Jesus was raised up, that Jesus never died on the cross. So I was just going with the flow and going with what you guys say according to the, to, to the Quran. We believe that Jesus died on the cross, that he was buried, and then after three days, the Father rose him out from the grave, all right? But on top of everything that I just said, in the Bible, we have clear indications from the words of Jesus and from the witnesses, or from uh, uh, the witnessing accounts, right, of uh, the apostles and also the disciples of Jesus, that Jesus died and rose from the dead. So many people, hundreds of people actually saw him. But on top of that, if that's not enough, we have Jewish and Christian historians, but also atheists, right, uh, people that even believe in God, like agnostic, right, or they believe in some form of God, that wrote contemporary writings. These were historical, factual documents that were written that spoke about the resurrection as most accurate, and as a matter of fact, one of the most accurate events down in history. So if that's not enough, I don't know what is. Now, let me ask you this. So if you're asking, if you're asking me, why would I believe in Jesus, okay? Why would you believe in Muhammad in that case when Muhammad had no witnesses whatsoever in a cave where he apparently received, you know, a, a, a revelation from on high? Were you there? No one was there, right? You weren't there. No one was there. He wasn't there. And yet you have no... When Jesus died? Well, once again. Wait, wait, wait. Were you there? Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, we do. Wait. We have accounts wait, wait. of different apostles that walk with him, that were thought by him. Also, we have okay. Muhammad One person at a. Muhammad was not yeah. long ago. Okay, so yeah, give me a second. So once again, we have accounts. But how fast are the Muslims to discredit? The accounts of the apostles and the disciples, but yet, you know, if you if we if we have to use the same measure on you, you guys are okay with the fact that he had Sahaba, he had other people to actually relate that Muhammad truly existed and that he he he, he thought and he spoke to people. Well, that's exactly what we're saying. Okay, we're going we're going we're going. You see what we're doing? We're hopping from one topic to another. Let's stick to one topic at a time. Let's go back to her question. She asked me a question. I answered her question you asked me and I answer back and I said this is what we have as proof concrete proof not just biblical not just Christian but Jewish and also Christian historians that wrote contemporary writings proving that Jesus death burial and resurrection was accurate as a matter of fact billions of people still believe in him billions of people have believed in him throughout the ages so I don't know what the issue uh, is all right so let's go to this gentleman first and then we'll go back to you okay so if we speak about proofs so we're based on Quran or Bible, okay. The most accurate one and the most one who has like scientific approval is Quran, okay. So if you go by I mean Quran, scientific proof scientific that, that, that the Quran accurate. is accurate? That, no, Bro, it's who, not who, can, who can say that it's, it's going to be a big bang? Quran said it like, like decades ago. Word. What so do you mean? There's the no, there's no big bang. There couldn't have been any big bang. That doesn't make sense. Oh, so the only one who can know but I, I just, no, you're, just, you're, you're making, you're not, you're not making sense. You're, you're speaking no, about Big Bang. No, no. Scientists believe in Big Bang. All the, all the scientific things are approved. The things that my scientists didn't know yet, it's already in the Quran. Like what? I can show you contradictions. Like many things. I can show you contradictions with science. Like no, no, no. In no, the no. Quran. The only, the only book that, that doesn't have mistakes is the Quran. Yeah. The only one. Oh, would you want me to show you a mistake? Yeah, okay, please. All right. Let's show you a mistake right now. Bro, if we wait, go wait, online, wait. we're going to give you like. Let's, let's, let's see the mistake. <laughs> no, come on. It's true. Right. There's, there's hundreds or thousands of mistakes. Okay. okay. Show, show, I can show you mistakes on my book. Show us. Show us. We're gonna pull it up for you. So if I show you the mistake, will you guys become Christian tonight? If I if I if I give you if I give you mistakes, if I give you if I give you mistakes, you guys are exactly like Zachary Nye. If I give you, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. If I give you, if I if I give you, your Dallas script is just so nice and so fine. You turn and we go to the other. You're the one with the mic. Listen, you guys not touch me. Okay, just keep your hands to yourself. Because you are the one with the mic, so it's okay. Because we can give you a right now. I don't, have to keep, I don't have to keep, keep up, uh, talking. Stop talking and pull I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to ask you to have mannerism because you're not even in this conversation. If you want to come into this conversation, let's actually have this conversation. What do you mean disrespect? I have my own belief which I'm actually 
We have the friendly and he has every belief. Here. You're free to have your own belief and I'm free to have my own belief. How is this disrespecting who? We're speaking out loud. How am I disrespecting you for not agreeing you're on your religion that doesn't make sense at all? You guys have a double standard. No, okay, turn off can the light. Can turn you stop turn interjecting? Off, can all of you stop me. interjecting? Right, you came up to me. I was here preaching calmly. I was having a conversation with this respectful man, a good human being. You guys started flowing from everywhere and you're swarming in and now you're trying to interject in every conversation. Yeah, because I have every I have every right to hold a mic and be standing on an intersection. I have every right to be preaching my gospel. I have every right to be lifting out the name of Jesus. And you got nothing to say about that. You guys have Dawah uh, people that do Dawah everywhere around the world. No one says anything. If we dare to say anything, oh, you know, God help us. Just hold us. No, you, you had a conversation with this guy. Why did you put it on the mic if you don't want anybody to interfere? He wants to play the victim, right? Yeah, he wants to play the victim, yeah? Play the victim? Come on, play the victim. You, guys are, you, know, you, you, see, you see what you guys do? You always resort to attacks and personal no, no. undermining. You always because do that. We're used to it. We're used to it. No, you're not used to it. Yes, we are. You know, no one has been persecuted by Muslims no, no, no. more than Christians, this right? Guy's you guys are bullies. That's what you are. No, I'm going to find it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show people where it shows violence, where it shows violence against the Christians and the Jews and calls them the worst of all people in the Quran and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to discredit your science I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to show the deception yeah I'm getting there give me a second yeah like a lot of people try to do this you, you know you don't have to be you don't have to be angry like nobody's angry now. except you I just wonder no I'm not change. angry I just wonder where you get your man yeah. mannerisms no, from because when, when I, I guess I know when I came to discuss it with you you I'm not discussing with you I was discussing with this man first and you jumped in you jumped in that's impolite if you know anything about mannerisms if you know anything about what is appropriate and what is not, you should know, you should you should learn you should learn some mannerisms. Don't interject with people's conversations. Step out. I'm gonna tell you to step out nicely. If it's a personal conversation, don't hold it is a personal conversation. I have the right to hold the mic just like you guys hold the mic. You can interfere all you want, but I'm not gonna talk to you. Don't need to talk to you. But I'm not gonna talk to you. We're filled with pride. You're filled with pride. That's your religion. You don't hear anything. Uh, your religion. What did I say? You're so insulting. We're not insulting. No, no, no. It's fine, it's fine. Just look at me. How did I insult you? So you all have been here and like, okay, trying to assist you. Uh, how did I insult you? We need some space at least for me, like one another. And we're on to the point. Yeah, you guys like to gang up on people. That's what you do. Oh, yeah, okay. Use the mic. You guys like to gang up on people. like to stand on. Huh? But you have no leg like, to stand on. You like to gang up, gang up on people. That's what you always do. You know, we, we know your we know your, your your ways, man. We all know your ways. We've been been acquainted with your ways. Don't worry about it. No, I'm not saying, but at least, at least you guys are like that. You're not really promoting Islam right now. If anything, you guys speak about good values and principles. And that is one of the reasons why I listen to Islam. Because, because, yeah, because you know what you do? You hold in the mic so everyone hears only your voice. You know, this is what you're doing, man. Uh, can someone pull, pull Al-Anbiya for me, please? First line. All right, so, okay, so let me ask you this real quick. This is from Quran.com, this is from Sunnah.com. If you guys are familiar with uh, Sunnah.com, that's your number one website for Quran and Hadith, all right? So I'm going right into your book. Do oh. you read Arabic or you don't? Okay, can you please read this? Okay, so let me read this in English. Let me read the English translation for those that don't understand the Arabic. It says, do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens and earth were once one mass, then we split them apart and we created from water every living thing. Will they not, not then believe? Can anyone here, please, just raise up your hand. Do you see a mistake in this here? Can anyone just point the mistake? Can anyone pull the mistake? Do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens and earth were once one mass, then we split them apart? Let me carry on. And we created from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? Two mistakes in here. You can't see it? No? What's the mistake? Yeah. Right. So how can heaven and earth, science, so you guys claim that Allah has 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 the uttermost understanding of science, right? And that it's just, that the Quran is scientific. Here it says, 
that the heavens and the earth were one mass. So anyone that knows about science today, right, or modern day science, tells us that this couldn't have been. Especially for someone that actually spoke about, uh, you are the one who pointed out the, the uh, Big Bang, right? You brought out the Big Bang. No scientist that believes in the Big Bang will ever, ever believe in such a fabricated lie. The heaven and earth were not one mass. They've never actually been one mass. Heaven is something and earth is something else. And second, it says, do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens, wait a second, were the disbelievers there back then? How could the disbelievers been there if this was before anything was, even, before humans were even created? It doesn't make any sense at all. So Allah is actually speaking to the disbelievers. Hear me out now, since you actually spoke a lot, all right? So you let me finish now, all right? So Allah is pointing out, all right, that the disbelievers couldn't realize the fact that he created everything one mass and then separated everything afterwards. How would the disbelievers know that if they weren't there and everything was created before even humans were created? Does it make sense to you? And you guys, okay, so of course there's an argument right here. Let's actually see what this man has to say now. Come on, the boy. This is like a warning to the people who don't believe in Islam. It's not at that time. It was talking about exactly. It was talking about when the Quran was actually revealed. And this guy was revealed. You don't believe that God That's what the nation means. That part. So what? I mean, how are they expected to believe if they weren't there in the first place when He created heaven and the earth? Right, if God created everything right in the beginning, if his creation, which is, let me finish, the earth and the heavens, right before man, how could Allah blame people? How can he how can he blame humans for not believing in his in, in his in his in, in his beauty and his creation and him being the creator? It doesn't make sense at all. Oh, sorry, There's so many religions in the world. Respect all of them. So when did I ever say that she was a Muslim? I said that's the most intellectual statement that you will hear tonight. That's what I said. Word for word. Did I ever say that she was a Muslim? I never said she was a Muslim. Right. All right, so let me go back to what I was saying. So the disbelievers couldn't have actually known about the fact that Allah created the heaven and the earth in the beginning because they were not there. So you cannot blame them and you cannot expect them to actually turn from their sins and come to the truth since they were never there to witness all of that you know to begin with like the account of creation is something that none of us can actually be witness right would you agree with me at least with that okay. uh, can i speak uh, you said what, what? no i want to stick to this because you guys were so adamant about having me actually show you a a a, a mistake in the quran which i which i did what? So, once again, the fact that they say that Islam is the most updated religion doesn't make any sense because no one ever backs up that claim. We don't see it in the Old Testament, we don't see it in the New Testament. The Muslims could actually try all day, every day to find Muhammad in the Bible. They will never find Muhammad in the Bible. And the closest that they have actually come to is by calling the comfort of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that Jesus sends on his apostles, Muhammad. That is ludicrous. And let me tell you why. It is ludicrous because in, in the book of John, in chapter number two, when the dove, when the Holy Spirit falls upon Jesus, there's a voice that is heard from heaven where it says, God says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Right? Will you actually exchange that then in that case for Muhammad? Muhammad came down like a dove. Of course it doesn't make sense. Right? The apostles also had the Holy Spirit fall on them like a Russian wind on Pentecost. Then the, the, the apostles ever say, well, Muhammad came down on us. Of course not. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever say that. And even better, we have 340 prophecies in the Old Testament that speak about the ushering of the Christ, Jesus Christ, that will come on the scene to save his people. 
And by the way, the same account that you guys have in the Quran, which is that Angel Gabriel camp comes down. I'm still preaching, more. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. It doesn't. She asked me a question. Asked me a question, and I want people to know about how Jesus is God, how Jesus is Lord, how Jesus is a Son of God, and that He is the manifesto of God here on earth. All right. So that's what it is. Your religion is false, sister. I'm telling you, you've been you've you've been lied to. You've been deceived by your imams. That's all you guys got. Okay, the best that you have is Muhammad. Islam down. I'm not putting Islam down. I had a conversation with a Muslim at the beginning. I'm not putting him down. I'm just trying to show you that you have been duped. You have been lied to because I care about your soul. Because I want you to come to the truth. If you are, if you're lost, all right. Suppose, okay. I don't know if you, have, you obviously don't have children yet, all right. Suppose your parents walk into a burning house. Wouldn't you want to slap your ha your parents out of that burning house? Would you want to stay there and then try to prove them that it's it's okay to stay that house? Or do you want to pull them out from that house? Of course, you care enough about them because you care about those souls to not see them perish. And so that is what we're here. With this this is what we're uh, we're here doing. Is that I care enough about your souls to show you that just like I came from Islam, came out from Islam, just like this brother came out from Islam, just like many other brothers came out from Islam, that Islam is a lie. And I said this out of love, respectively, just like you don't believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. No, no, je peux te montrer comment ça pas été modifié. Okay, so that's a question, all right? Okay, here you guys. So you guys say that the Bible was changed, right? That's what the Muslims say all the time. The, the Muslims say that we, the, the Bible that we have, that we hold within our hands, is not authentic, that it was changed, right? That's what you say. I can prove to you that this is a, an 11th century claim that most Muslims from all around the world made, but nowhere in the Quran do we ever say that statement made. As a matter of fact, Allah actually contradicts all the Muslims and He shows that there's an assumption that the Jews and the Christians back then in the 7th century in the Arabic Peninsula held dear to their books and Allah in your Quran says to Muhammad tell the Jews and the Christians to judge by their own books namely the Torah and also the gospel which is for the Christians and I can show you where this is in your Quran would you want me to show you? Show me. Alright, let's see. Okay, guys, you want to see? Yes, Where show, in the Quran it says that? Let's see that. So, you guys say that it was changed. Yes. You that, guys say that yes, it was changed, that, but it wasn't changed. changed. I want you to show me the, I will show you. the, the, the wrong part in the Quran. Okay, so one thing, you see what we're doing is we're hopping from one topic to another, which you are so good at doing. How about we stick to one topic at a time? Earlier, you exposed me from wasting time. I believe that you're wasting time because you don't want me to expose your own lies. All right, let's see. Let's go to Surat Al-Ma'idah. Surat Al-Ma'idah, all right. So this is your own Quran, by the way. This is Allah, right? Allah doesn't lie. Okay, okay. All right, here it is. I'm going to read it in Arabic first. Do you read Arabic? No, it doesn't. Let me read it in Arabic and I want to read it in also the English. All right. What is the name of the Quran? 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 It says, but why do they come to you for judgment when they already have the Torah containing Allah's judgment? So let's just set up a foundation first. Before you, let me just finish, all right? So the, I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to give you the money, all right? We can even time it if you want to. We can time it. So why do they come to you for judgment? So let's actually lay a foundation here. Allah is saying that part of His revelation is the Torah. We see it right here, right? In the Zikr, which encompasses... Let me finish, brother. Are you in a rush? All right. Let me finish. I want to explain to people because I care about people. If you're in a rush, you can leave. Right? If you want to... Oh, no. I, I'm stalling because you see, I want to give you a crash course about your own religion. That's why I'm stalling. That's not how religions work, but you can go ahead. I bet you don't know anything about your religion. It says, indeed, we reveal the Torah containing guidance and light by which the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah made judgment for the Jews. So too did the rabbis and the scholars judge according to, the, to Allah's book with which they were entrusted and of which they were made keepers. In case you're getting anything from
far it is Allah's book. It is part of the zikr of the revelation. So do not fear the people, fear me, nor trade my revelations for a fleeting gain. Let's skip over to the next one. We ordain for them in the Torah, once again, a life, a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a nose for a nose, and an ear for an ear, a tooth for a tooth. Now this is getting interesting. Let's skip over. Here to verse 47, it says, So let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it, and those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are truly the rebellious. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You just shot your, your, yourself in the foot. You don't understand, right? I'm sorry, man. Listen, we're filming, so if you don't want to be on the mic, it's not going to happen. Come closer. We as Muslims, we believe in the prophets, in the angels. Well, that's all what I ask you. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I want you to... No, 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 I'm sorry, we won't do that. No, I want to focus on this. No, bro, I want to focus on this. I want to focus on this. You know the books. Yes, Allah sent the gospel in the Injil. That's the gospel in the Torah. We believe Allah sent that. But you guys manipulated it. People manipulate it. That's, that's exactly what I'm Yes, we don't, we don't deny that Allah sent the Injil. We don't deny that He sent the Torah. Right? When did He manipul manipulate it? When, sorry, when did we manipulate it? He knows. When did we manipulate it? Obviously, that I'm manipulating now. When did we manipulate the Bible? Since you actually just made a claim which you're so sure about, can you please tell me when through history did we ever manipulate the Bible? But you just said we manipulated the Bible. You said when did we ever manipulate? Can you please tell me when on the on on the on on, on the timeline of history did we ever manipulate the Bible? You can check it. You can check your Bible. That contradictions. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm saying where did we? Let me to know a particular date that. Brother, you just made a claim. If you're gonna make a claim when you discuss things you with guys, someone. You manipulated it. When did we manipulate it? You manipulated it in 1611 and 1769 when King James decided to change the Bible for himself. Which version did you use? Did you just Google it? Yeah, it's literally right did there. You, just you asked go me to, You asked okay. me when. So and I gave since, you, I since gave you, you know about since you know about this, all right. Let me ask you: What are the different codexes that were actually manipulated? I don't need to know that. And the point is, is that you have Brother, a you, have, you just googled it right now and you went to literally yeah, straight up exactly. the first link right. that you saw. Really if we did the same thing, right? You guys would be raging up in our face. Tell me about the Bible. What are the codexes that we had? When were the codexes? Yeah, when? The codex, you have so many codexes. Tell me about the codexes. How about you name just a couple of what? You have the Psalms. You have the... What? <laughs> Bro, you have no idea. Unbelievable, what are you man. About? The you have what are the codexes? codexes? What do you mean? Let me repeat this again. Wait, I'll what, give you another what, opportunity to codexes? redeem yourself. Oh, what? No, don't look it up. I will look it up. You see, that's exactly what you do. Bro, you have no idea of what you're talking about. This guy walks up with so much pride. He doesn't even know what the codex is all about. Bro, you have no idea, man. This is such a shame. You guys go and you, you, this guy went to Google, plugged in a couple of words, and then came up with straight up the first link. Okay, so let me go back to what I was saying. Let me go back to what I was saying because this guy is obviously he doesn't know what he's talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. So apparently, Codex is. Brother, I would, I would, hey, I would, I would honestly suggest you pull out because at this point where you just shut yourself in the foot, you look bad in front of everybody. Bro, you said that the codexes are Psalms. Are you serious? Anybody would know that. Not even an atheist would know that the codexes are not Psalms, bro. Codexes are different manuscripts that were compiled throughout history in different centuries, right, from different people, full on, full on manager. No, bro, I don't want to talk to you anymore, bro. You don't make sense at all, just please. Okay, let me go back to what I was saying, and let me once again, how convenient. How convenient, how convenient is it for Muslims to search something up on Google to, who are those people? to overthrow a Christian right with their crazy arguments which they don't even know what they're talking about. Okay, let me go back now. Let us go back. Okay, guys, guys, listen, I'm not gonna do this. Bro, can you please walk out, please? I'm not gonna have a discussion with you because you're just creating conflict right here. Yeah, you're creating conflict all over the place. I'm speaking to someone right now. I was speaking to someone already. Brother, can you please come forth and let us have a conversation? I was speaking to this guy. Come on, run, run, come on, run, okay. No, I was with this guy. 
I'm not gonna jump for one person. I'm not gonna speak to everybody at the same time. One person at a time. You're next. You're next, brother. We le prochain. You're next. Okay, let me let me see. Let me finish this. Okay. So to go back to what I was saying, okay, you said before you said that the Bible was changed, and I ask you when was it changed? Oh, no, let me finish, brother. You made it. It's my it's my turn to speak, right? But you just spoke like for two minutes. I did ask him. Merci beaucoup. He's an expression, so listen to him. You better listen to him. I was I was I was. I was an You're an expression. Yes. You were never. I can tell. No, 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 no. You were never. No, man. You were never. You were never. I was an expression. Yes. You're 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 never a Christian. You were never. You guys were never Christian. You would have never. Left the faith. Never. You gotta stop people. Speak louder. Speak louder. Brother, if you're not gonna do this, I'm not gonna fight with you for the mic. All right. Let's do someone else. All right. Go. Tu m'expliques ce que j'ai demandé. Non, mais attends, moi j'ai une question pour toi. Non, pas. Je vais retourner. Non, parce que tu donnes des questions à les gens. Non, c'est pas. J'étais en train de parler de ça. Can you please answer this? Est-ce que tu as compris de ce que je disais ou pas? Je prenais si je donnais aux gens. Tu comprends quelque chose qui dans la religion? Et je peux te garantir à 100% la Bible a été changée plus d'une fois à travers l'histoire. Il y a ceux qu'on appelle les apocryphes qui sont des livres. C'est des morceaux de la Bible tellement crus que tout le monde La Bible de base, la Bible de base est méchante. La Bible de base est très méchante. Il y a des trucs que tu ne pas faire. Ça, comme Donc, donc, il peut approcher le Il en a Écoute, écoute, film les Tinnies à des choses. Je peux aller à l'église. Comment aller à l'église et bien m'attendre à Allah ou bien on me l'a mis comme on peut m'attendre à Allah ou pas. Ou là, il s'en fout pas. Tu sais, tu as compris. Je n'ai pas compris. Donc, qu'est-ce qu'il parle de la Bible Okay. Kind of and I can tell okay. you, okay. it's not about church, it's about relationship with God. You never had one. What is the relationship with God? He talks about the Bible. How am I Christian? Was it false? Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هو الله أحد Allah. 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 You can say Allah wa akbar all you want. Oh man, I am. All right, so let's go back to our topic. You see what the audience is? They're all over the place. You guys are all over the You can't have a civil conversation. Okay, no, no. Shh, shh. I'm, 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 I Tu échanges dans le respect, we're oui, good. Oui, oui, oui. All right, okay. come here. Yeah. So you say you're a Christian. I used to be a Christian. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you know what the Bible says about people that have left Christianity? What what, what, what does the Bible say about them? What on on anglais? What what does the Bible yeah? What does the Bible say about people that left Christianity? I don't think there's anything bad because if you go to church, even no. the priest. That's, that's not what I said. I said you were a Christian. No. You want to speak about Bible? Uh, a book that has been written by human beings. You were never a Christian. God listen, bless you. Listen, right. who, who used to read, who used to be the people that write the Bible? It used to be monks. Listen, do you understand? How can make you believe something if I write it in a holy book? You Name me the four gospels. What four gospels? Name me the four gospels of the Bible. Four four times in French. Nomme-moi les nomme-moi les quatre évangiles, s'il te plaît. Quand est-ce qu'ils ont été écrits? Bro, tu peux me parler de that l'évangile de Jean, Pierre, Paul, Thomas, just the Evangile de Pierre. Did you hear that? Evangile de Pierre. Evangile de Thomas. Mais tu peux me citer. You see, God is exposing the heart. Listen, listen. My most friend, listen. Wait, attends, 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 attends. My most friend, can you please tell me the surat? Anybody can do that. Okay. So you see, the issue that I have with this here is that he claims that he's actually walked out of Christianity. I asked him a very simple question. I said, can you please, man? Can you please name me the four gospel accounts? He said Thomas and Peter. No, but if you were a Christian, you would know <laughs> Man, that I told Thomas you. and Peter are not gospel accounts. Okay, yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Man, you you talking you talking about a book? But it's the base of Christianity. 
You're you talking about a book. book. I'm talking about the beliefs. This is the difference between us. You want me to tell you specific uh, verse in a book? Well, yeah, the Bible says if you walked away from the faith, you were never in the faith in the first place. Bro, you want me to talk about faith? Okay. Christian people have So let's go back to what I was saying wait, once again. Wait, so this is brother. a distraction. Brother, 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 no, I'm brother, not gonna brother, let him speak. Brother, I'm not gonna let him speak. Do you, know, do you know your history? I wanna expose the Quran. And do you I know Christian? I've been killing people for thousands of years about Christianity. Listen! Alright, so the point that I made earlier, just to reiterate to what I was saying, guys, hear carefully. Here carefully, I, I showed you that in your own Quran, Allah does not discredit neither the Torah nor the Gospel. And I showed you that in Surah Al-Ma'idah, in verse 43, there's an assumption that Allah is asking Muhammad to judge, to ask the Jews and the Christians to judge by the Torah and by the Bible. More specifically, the Injil, the Good News, the Gospel. And so if Muslims are going to discredit the Bible and say that it was changed, you are going against your own Allah because even Allah does not make that kind of striking claim. Allah says to Muhammad in the 7th century in the Arabic Peninsula, go to the Jews, go to the Christians, the Omega, they have the right to judge by that book. Okay, no, no, I ask the Muslims, I ask my Muslim friends, why is it that you seem to contradict Allah and no one was able to answer to me? They're all, no, you're all distracting the topic. You're all distracting the topic. You're all distracting the, all distracting the, the topic. And some of you want to prove me that you're Christians. Others want to hop on a different subject. Some of you want to go somewhere else. I want to speak about one thing. How was the Bible change when there's not one single citation, not one single verse in the Quran that has ever said from the words of Allah that the Bible was changed. When was it changed? The Bible was changed. When was it changed? When was it changed? I'm going to tell you something. Tell me when it was changed. The Bible speaking about Jesus. Do you know the Bible? When was it changed? Listen, listen, listen. Guys, let's all fight. Listen, listen, let's see what he has to say. Yeah, let's hear. The Bible speak about Jesus. When was the Bible was, was written? It was written 400 years after Jesus' life. <laughs> oh, man. 600, 600 years. Brother, for someone that doesn't know about the Gospel accounts, I mean, I would expect Jesus. you to know about when the Bible was compiled. Sounds like the Bible was compiled. The earliest manuscripts that we have are literally 60 years after Jesus. 600 years. Okay, you obviously you don't have know what you're talking about. You have scientific proof. Even if you use the Bible, you can't rely on it. 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 We go back. On est même pas catholique. C'est que catholicisme, c'est pas le christianisme, ça rien à voir. Jesus came on the scene that was 400 BC, roughly. We have the we have the Old Testament text. We have the scrolls of Isaiah. That's 100 years before Jesus came on the scene. There are 340 prophecies in the Old Testament that point to Jesus from the Old Testament, which was compiled even before Jesus was ushered into this world. He's talking about catholicism. That's why he was confused. I mean, yes, you guys are confused. You guys don't know what you're talking about. You, know, you, know, you, know, you guys are obviously completely unaware and clueless of the Bible. You're you clueless of Christian history. You don't know anything about Jesus, not even a stitch. You can even read the Bible because you are hardened in your hearts. You are stubborn. But as a Christian, la kumdin ou li yadin. Pour quelle raison depuis tant tu es en train de dire que l'islam c'est du n'importe quoi? No compulsion of it? No, I don't. Okay. Exactement, tu dis comme quoi pour les gens ça c'est you know la condine OK la condine comme il y a il y a des alors tu dois respecter so les musulmans the brother said la condine comme walina wa walina dit right which means that there's no compulsion in the faith. That's what you guys say. There's no obligation. You can't force a religion down someone's throat. Okay, so you guys say that there's no compulsion, right, in a religion? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you what the Quran says in that case, all right? So you guys just claim that there's no compulsion, right? Let me show you where it says that you should cash them, whatever they are. You should cut off their fingertips, kill them, yeah, uh, chop off their heads, crucify them. That's speaking of the Jews and the Christians. As a matter of fact, it goes as... Uh, it goes as far as saying that the Jews and the Christians are the worst of all creatures and that's in the Quran. Would you want me to show it to you? Oh yes, I can show it to you. I can show you the violent 
the violent verses that your scholars hide from you. The, the violent uh, verses of killing the Jews and the Christians, which your scholars don't tell you about. Can I show it to you? Right. Can you hold this for a second? Et pourquoi on leur parle pas de l'histoire de Pharaon? C'est la contradiction qu'il y a dans la Let me, let me, let me, one, one topic at a time. Let me show you what I just said, all right? So since I made it, I want to, no, wait a second. You, see, you don't know how to discuss it. 2,000 years, you will never so find that, this. So is that how you debate this? Okay, God loves you. You're wrong from your own Quran. His right. name is Jesus. He loves you all. Uh, and he love, sent you love, here. We love, we love Jesus too. We love him. We love him. Yeah, amen. 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 We believe in Jesus. Jesus is our prophet. Yeah, exactly. Give Jesus a message. He's not God. He's not Je vais te montrer mon frère, t'inquiète. Il est noir. Il est la raison pour laquelle t'écoutes aujourd'hui. Ouais, oui. Il vous fait grâce, miséricorde. La raison pour laquelle il écoute, c'est parce qu'on a Le Dieu, il reste toujours. All right, Re regarde-toi. Tu rigoles. Allah, il te parle. Il fait comme ça. Il va te crucifier. 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 I'm pulling anybody. I'm trying to save people from, from okay, hell. Okay, show us, show us, show us. I'm safe. I thank God because only Jesus can actually provide salvation. I want to show you, guys. Stay tuned, please. I want to. I'm going to find that verse. You know, while he's looking for the verse, I just want to let all Muslims know here uh, about Prophet Isaiah. That was 1,000 years before Jesus was on the scene, and Prophet Isaiah said this: "For unto us a child is born." Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name, well you don't know why you're laughing, that's a prophecy brother, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. And then you fast forward about a thousand years and Jesus said that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. These are things that have already been ingrained in the Old why, Testament. Why did he not just say, I'm God? Why did he not make well, why, you know, a lot of Muslims will say, why didn't he just say, I'm God? I'm God. But you know what? Did you know in the Injil, it never says, Jesus never said that I'm not God. And in fact, when he spoke to the Pharisees, let me speak. When, let me speak. You asked me the question. You asked me the question. You asked me the question. You want me to answer? He doesn't want to hear. You don't want to hear. They're all like that. I was very clear. Cool. I can answer. No, you don't want to hear, no, want to hear it, bro. Did you show me one single verse? from your Quran, no, none, you not one. You don't want to let, what do you want to see? I told you your own lies, I suppose your own lies, your own Quran, you're still too blind to see it. You want me to show it to you? The Bible, you become Christian if I show it to you? Never ever. Oh, you see what you did? Show it to me, but stop for a lot. Can I speak on that? Because you're contradicting my religion, so I want to see what you want to say. But you the contradiction of... You are in no position to tell someone to believe. You are allowed to believe you have your own opinion and respect what? the other. Like what we respect you. About? We're standing no, you're here not. because you are disrespecting right. our so, so by your own standard, what your Dawah people should do then, they should take themselves off of the streets and go back home and stop preaching the Quran to anybody else, right? I said, respect me like I respect you. I, I, respect, I respect you enough to, you don't respect, you don't to give you the gospel message because I want to see you saved. But you don't want to be saved. You don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. You don't respect yourself. To follow a prophet, I'll tell you why. I, I mean this I, I, I mean this in love. You don't respect yourself. You guys don't respect yourself to follow a prophet that had sex with a prepubescent. Pre Okay, Aisha. child. He married her at the age of six and Aisha, consummated marriage at the age Aisha, of nine. That is, this is false. This is false. So apparently, this is false. So, so no, is, is that the type of prophet? Is that the type of man of perfect, uh, uh, you know, uh, with perfect uh, standards of morality that you want to follow after? Why are we going there? My beliefs are my beliefs. Your beliefs are your beliefs. Okay, well, listen. If you want to believe in a prophet. If you're going to talk over me, then there's no reason for me to talk. I'm here because you were disregarding my religion. I'm here because you want to say about my religion. Okay, so she asked me and I should show her. So I'm going to read it. Do you read Arabic? By the way, I always ask this. He do? Can you read it for me then in that case? No. Since you, you, since you say you speak Arabic, can you please? Or read Arabic, can you please read it? Well, you just said that you read Arabic. I don't want to read it. Can you please read this for me? You're sure? I don't know why, but I, I don't really... Trust you not, yeah. Anyways, I'll just read it then. 
So it says in uh, Surah at Tawbah, verse 9, hear, uh, hear, listen, really hear carefully what it says here. It says, كَيْفَ يَكُونَ لِلْمُشْرِكِينَ عَهْدًا عَنْدَ اللَّهُ وَعَنْدَ رَسُولِهِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ عَهَدْتُمْ عَنْدَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ فَمَا أَسْتَقَامُ لَكُمْ فَاسْتَقِيمُ لَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ يَحَبُّ الْمُتَّقِينَ c'est pas la vraie parce que nous si c'était la vraie on serait contre So there's a certain time to kill the Christians? C'est Dieu qui nous pousse à le faire. Non, that's not true. That's not true. Parce que c'est la religion qui rend le plus. Parce que nous, on C'est vrai, ça ne nous est pas pour cette raison. C'est l'homosexualité, ça ne rendit pas les moments de vérité, les transgenres, ça explose. C'est pour moi, c'est pas l'argument que cela nous rendit. I can't believe it. Ça, c'est toi qui ne veux pas dire quelque chose que je ne veux pas dire. Moi, je te dis, c'est parce que les musulmans. All right, so there's a contract. So, so she's saying there's a contract. Okay, so there's a contract. Okay. All right. So I guess there's a reason to kill the infidels, right? There, there must be a reason. Yeah. So how about we just start killing the Jews and the Christians? That's not what it says. Show me the tafsir. Show me the commentary. Can you pull out the commentary? Okay, it says, but once the sacred months have passed, okay guys, listen up, okay, once Ramadan has passed, kill the polytheists who violated the treaties, whatever you find them, capture them, besiege them, and lie in wait for them on every way. That's the Quran, but if they repent, perform prayers, and pay alms tax, then set them free, indeed, Allah is all forgiven, most merciful. I don't know for you, but I don't see a reason why anyone should kill anyone for that goes against one of the commandments, true. one of that the mosaic commandments. True. You guys know that, right? So that breaks automatically Everyone know you're lying, God's bro. commandment. Everyone know you're lying. If I am lying, Everyone then your Quran is lying because I'm reading to your Quran. Arabic. Should be interpreted in Arabic. Yeah. So I just, but I just read the Arabic. I just read to you the Arabic, and I gave you the English trust. Okay, so if that's the case, then how about you know we stop reading people that don't speak Arabic, stop reading the Quran, because they don't understand what it says. If, if they don't understand what it says, then why read the Quran in the first place? Carl, does it make sense? Huh? You think there's no? It doesn't make sense. So every person that doesn't speak Arabic, like Urdu speaking, Hindi speaking people, they're not allowed to to read the Quran because it's not in Urdu. It's not in Indeed. Bro, don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take the thing. Okay, wait. What's, what's, bro, have some mannerisms, bro. Have some mannerisms. Why are you so angry and aggressive? Why are you talking about the Quran, man? It's, it's, you can talk about the Bible all you want. I'm confident. I'm confident enough, man. I have assurance enough in my Bible to know that, you know, Jesus is a true. Why are you getting angry? Why are you getting angry? Oh, man. Obviously, you know, they get angry. They get puffed up now. Wow. Wow, you get angry. This just shows once again the reality of the spirit that is in you. If you're gonna promote, if you're gonna promote Islam, try to promote it nicely so us ex-Muslims can at least come back to the faith, right? But you guys are not convincing us of anything. So this lady said that there must be a treaty, or there must be a reason why you know the Muslims should kill the Jews. Can you ask her to speak English? Yes, of course. Let's go back to what it says here. It's just it doesn't okay, guys, many people, it's fine. Speak all the English. You guys don't hear what your Quran says. It says 
But you once the sacred months have passed, kill the polytheists who violated treaty, like whatever you, you find them, be. capture right? them, no besiege them, and lie in wait for them on every way. But if they repent, perform prayers, and pay... Sorry, bro. Yeah, for sure, bro. Awesome. It's right there in, in your in your Quran. It's, it's right there in your Quran, brother. Yeah, sure. We can discuss it. Yeah, no problem. We'll discuss it, bro. Respectfully and lovingly, bro. Of course. I'm not getting aggressive. A lot of people are getting aggressive here, but I appreciate your humbleness, brother. You're a good man. It's right there. And even if you're Muslim. What about the Christians that are dying in the hands of Muslims in uh, Africa, in North Africa, in Saudi Arabia, for example, all over the world? Bro, once again, that's not the point. The point is actually bring it to Jesus. I'm not here to actually create a conflict. I'm not here to bring controversy. I'm here to actually show you what your own Quran says, which you guys are not aware of. You guys are actually clueless about the the, the, the the seriousness of most of the claims that are actually made in the Quran. That's what I'm trying to say here. No, but the truth is Jesus. And I saw the truth and I couldn't actually find it because the truth is found only in Jesus. Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. And so that's the deal. I will call you for sure. You see, I respect this man. Yes, amen. I just Very humble. You're a good human being, my friend. You're a good human being. He has good morals. Amen. Unlike many of you, he has good morals. You said something about being respectful. So I came to you and told you, you are perfectly right. I hope you come back. And my problem is not against you. My problem is not against any of these people here. My problem is against Islam. My problem is against the trap of the devil. My problem is against the fact that all people are under the sway of the enemy in this religion. My friend, when I mean, when I, you have no need of authorization. 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 Does this man have the choice to leave if you want to? He can walk away. No one is forcing you to stay here.